Hi, good day. This is a video response to Sebastian the Girl's video on Fat Gods. So, first let me say I really enjoyed your video. It was very thoughtful. And I felt that I had to make a reply since, well, I'm a fat god. So, yeah. First let me address the point that the idea that uh, there are a lot of fat girls in the goth subculture. No, I don't think there are more fat goths, just like you say, but I think that we are perhaps more noticeable. I am a part of three different subcultures. I'm a goth, I'm an occultist, and I'm into BDSM. So, yeah, that's three different mainstream cultures there and what I have noticed is that all three of them get the same accusations there are so many fat girls there uh, are you only part of that uh, subculture because you're fat yada 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 and what I also noticed is that uh, well I don't see any more go uh, any more fat people within these subcultures than anywhere else. I see that those of us who are overweight are usually not as harshly judged as in mainstream uh, in as in mainstream society, meaning that we are more free to be ourselves, be open, be out there, while often those who are overweight get beaten into a sort of sorry that I exist uh, state of mind because there's a lot of judgment uh, and you are made to feel as little as possible or as small as possible while within a lot of different subcultures it is more acceptable to be different and I think this has a bit to do with as a god you have had to experience being judged by others you have had to experience being looked down on for being different and then a lot of people will um, uh, take a lesson in that and not do it to others so while I do not think there are more fat people within various subcultures I definitely think that those of us who are overweight are more visible because we are more accepted and that's a good thing now could there be someone who seeks out a subculture because uh, because they will gain more accept yeah I guess but like I said I'm a part of three different subcultures and I have never met one who have become a member of that group or mindset or whatever you want to call it a philosophy for that reason now, a lot of people who are overweight when they do join such a subculture feel um, that I've come home that I can be themselves and are very happy about that they're not that harshly judged and I say it generally because there are some got some occultists some it is some I mean, everyone who will judge people who are overweight, but as a general rule, and of course some people will then, when they feel that accept, have that as an extra bonus. But I've never met somebody who has joined up just because they're overweight. And also that idea that oh, but you are just uh, part of this because you can't find a boyfriend or girlfriend because you're fat well I'm going to be married soon I have had a steady relationship since I was 16 being overweight does not mean that one cannot find a lover that one cannot be seen as attractive and I am glad that you touch in on this so yeah and um, one thing I do want to mention is that being a fat god can have its uh, difficulties, especially when it comes to clothes. 
because a lot of the various clothes that you can get have a tendency to be designed with skinny people in mind. Now, some of them do have bigger sizes, but generally if I were to dress in something that was designed for a girl your size and just scaled up to fit me, I would look ridiculous because various body types need various sorts of cover. Now, of course, I'm not saying that if somebody who is overweight feel comfortable in wearing clothes that are designed for much smaller people, then have at it. If they feel comfortable, all is well and good. But generally, for me, I think that some of the greatest difficulties in being a goth and being overweight is actually finding clothes. So for me, I have generally sold out. That I have some uh, pieces that are very nice, but generally I wear plain black clothes and then I dress that up with accessories to give it that goth feel. So yeah. But generally I agree with what you're saying. I think that far too many people judge everyone who is overweight and very often people who make these judgments they have never been overweight themselves, they have never had friends who are overweight, they don't really know the problem. And I am completely fine with somebody not finding a girl or a boy for that matter who is overweight attractive. I mean we all have different uh, standards by, what, by which we judge attractiveness. And that's not a problem. But when people say that if you're overweight, you're lazy, you are dirty, you are selfish, you are basically this subhuman, that's very hurtful. Because, first of all, there are exactly two people in this world whose business my weight is. It's me and it's my physician. And the second uh, person in this uh, uh, only have uh, any business commenting on it because I have asked him to help me lose weight. If I hadn't done that, it would be exactly one person whose business my weight is, and that's me. Now, of course, being overweight is not healthy. Now, unlike popular opinion, being overweight does not mean that you are ready to drop dead any moment. It doesn't mean that you are unhealthy. You can be completely healthy and fat. But you are exposing yourself to a greater health risk by being overweight. And of course you can say that that's a negative trend. And it is. But at the same time it is people's own choice. Also... There are a there is a lot of reasons without me dragging this video on and on by going into detail on all of them why people are overweight. Behind every fat belly there's a story and it's not just that people sit and eat and eat and eat all day. So uh, it's a complex problem and then just judging people and calling them lazy and treating people like shit because we happen to have too many kilos Th that, that's not okay so yeah um but anyway i wanted to thank you for your video it won i really enjoyed it it made my day better and i think you said very many things that were very wise i also have to say that you look good. I um, I can't say other than that I envy you that belly. So yeah. Well, that's a video response from this fat goth. 
I hope you have a great day and yeah, thank you for your video. Bye.